this is my first ever, yes. Uh, just, I, I just wanted to start, so I don't know why. Anyway, I'm bored. So, uh, anyway, let's get to uh, one subject. Uh, on, on, um, in maybe June or uh, July, August, summer 2010, nearly, the uh, a UK newspaper article said that Club Penguin might be uh, uh, the Club Penguin team were doing a project saying that Club Penguin would become educational at the end of 2000, uh, at the end of the year. <coughs> so far, nothing really has happened. Maybe they they might have said the end of 2011, but they clearly stated that it would be at the end of the year. So it might be 2002, it might be the end of 2011, uh, but I can't really see any features and changes. I mean, the only thing that Peter and Polly is like to work out is really how much they are going to spend if they want to buy like a whole, I don't know, clothing uh, item and stuff like that. <coughs> um, so not really that much features and changes really, uh, except for the new game Puffer launch. Um, and so of course the last day, when was the, is this project abandoned? I don't think really it's abandoned. It might be. But we'll just have to find out <coughs> at the end of the year. But uh, who is what they said originally? According to an article published in the UK newspaper, Club Penguin is planning to go education in about two months. What really happened? Here's what people have to say about Club Penguin going education. It's going to take learning within a virtual space to a whole new level. According to to the to the article, that there are there are accessories to and inco incorporated educational elements in into their online games. Also, the article states in two months they'll be rewarded for completing games designed designed to test their further mathematical skills. Not happened. I think that this must this must be related to new steps coming to Club Penguin. Uh, not really, I don't think so. Because really, they told us we have to work hard to collect them. Well, that was some of them are really easy. Also, it seems like Club Penguin will be making more games in which we have to use verbal math, math skills. I would say so. Yeah, it really has happened. And this would be great a uh, great way for Club Penguin to attract younger kids. But I but I think that the Club Penguin's older players won't like it as much. Do you think Club Penguin? Will it go educational or stay the way it is right now? Comment down below. Now for subject two. Now, what do you think of the new game Club Penguin Puffle Launch? Do you think it's a really good game? Or do you think it's a thumbs up? Or do you think it's a thumbs down? So, New game is quite good. It's another level platform uh, level game, which I think. Uh, well, what do you think of it? Do you think? Do you think? Uh, just just sound this video up if you like it, or sound down if you dislike the video. Uh, this new feature. The game is quite good actually. You know, you have to go up and launch the blue. The blue can is uh, send you straight there without you having to control it. The green uh, one. You have to control it if the weather goes up, down, left, or, or, or right. But you've got to be quick because they do move without you having to move them with your arrow keys. The red ones they go as they spin round and round and round, and the purple ones you can, you can, you can, you can uh, uh, angle the cannon yourself. Um, and basically, you collect puffalos, and all the puffles are, ava uh, are available. So keep buying those puffles. <coughs> uh, so anyway, the uh, and, I, and I also uh, I quite like it how they how they said that you have to build your own cannons and then you could get to level to level. But recently, uh, the only uh, the uh, recently all the games that have uh, that have been created involve levels. Now 
do you like level games or do you just want something new, you know? Or does this fit in with the project about uh, clothing and being educational? Comment and tell your and tell me your thoughts. And well, those sea club penguin babies, which have been all around the pet shop since oh, I can't remember when the pet shop was even built and when those items came out. Finally. They have gone! Hooray! Thanks to the new uh, design of the uh, the new design of the pet shop. Hooray! Finally! Oh, I thought they would. I, I, I was going. Oh, now we're just getting so annoying. Now you can walk in the pet shop without someone saying, "I think you." Will. So, do you think that it will? Uh, Oh gosh. Anyway, so do you like it? And also, do you think that those club with puffle clocks will be available in the in the better igloos catalogue? I really hope they do. Because I mean I think I really like Also, if you would have looked at the mission if you were to go to this ski lodge at it, they found that there would be a cuckoo. A, a, a puffle black puffle. Um, clock uh, in the missions. So this could be a clue. Anyway, uh, go going to Midweavers now, and um, a new mission has been released. And that mission is called Trouble at Castle Gam. Make sure to go to my um, to my Midweavers website, which is on the screen right now. It is www. I forgot. But anyway, it's on the screen right now anyway. Uh, I forgot what I was filming. But there it is. Type this address on your screen. Now, wait after the video because there's more to come. Yes, 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 there is more. Anyway, uh, so Bibi will struggle. We'll, 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 we'll have a kickstart in the spring. Probably April the 1st. As we start off with a waka do, uh, a wak waka do. Uh, let me think. Oh yes, Bid Weevil's drunk episode, where um, and also where they go into this April Fool's world and they go somewhere very different. Let's just say. And uh, also, uh, anyway, let's go back to another subject. Um, yes, my new project that I'm going to start is called Fantary Games. I'm going to design, uh, you know, uh, quite a few games. But I need you to decide what this, what this is going to, what, what the games are actually going to, going to be uh, about. I was thinking probably like an alien, but uh, it needs to be like a virtual world. I'm going to start out small and then work my way up, you know, work my way up and see how my progress and success is. The game will be ready by about 2015, uh, maybe even later, I'm not quite sure. So first of all, I, th I haven't really done anything, like i just uh, done some <coughs> pictures in that. Um, but I haven't actually got down to doing the, uh, the real actual thing, I just did some ideas and stuff like that. Um, so please, uh, because I'm going to start in about May, um, maybe, yep. So, uh, so please send those ideas in, um, right now in the comments as well. Uh, and just let me know, um, and if you have a Google, uh, and if you have a Google account, or any other, I don't know, uh, there's also Twitter, Facebook, and stuff like that. Uh, please let me know in the comment, um, in the comments of the, of the, of my blog there. Anyway, to, to go to this blog, you have uh, just type in www.fantarygames.blogspot.com, which should be on your screen right now, as I say that. So, that's, uh, that's unfortunately the, the end uh, of the, uh, this, um, this vlog. But uh, I'll try and do one every two fortnight, maybe, a week. Two weeks, maybe three weeks.
so I'm not quite sure. It depends if I if I have time. But anyway, um, yeah. So uh, the next so the next video I plan to do is um, is uh, to start off with the new series. Uh, well, I've already started off with the series, but you know, get episode twenty two done. Not in we was drunk. <coughs> Sorry, I just had a few beers late this night. Anyway, uh, so that's all. Remember, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Bye.